I don't suppose you can literally have a deep movement. Uh, you can have a, uh, an individual's practice of the Dharma which may be deep. Yeah? So I, 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 I think what is important is um, that when we are expanding the movement through our activities, opening up uh, centers and engaging in, in other Dharma activities, we don't lose our individual depth. Hmm? Uh, I think that's what we have to be careful of. At the same time, we, we mustn't be too precious. Um, because spreading the Dharma, communicating the Dharma to others, enabling others to hear the Dharma, is itself a spiritual practice. Um, a practice of the Dharma can't be entirely self-referential. It can't be just a question of my particular mental state or my particular observance of the precepts. It has to be wider than that. And uh, that's why I, I, I think uh, some people have been saying recently that, uh, that meditation is not the whole of the Dharma there's a lot more to the Dharma and uh, I, I referred a little while ago to my own experience uh, um, among the, the, the former untouchables in India and I, I, I saw you know, how much the, the Dharma meant to them uh, when it was uh, taught even very simply and briefly huh? a little of the Dharma went a very long way and one could do a lot of good with comparatively little exertion. Um, so I've, I've I've seen this, uh, you know, with with my own eyes on on innumerable occasions, and I'm uh, I'm well, I'm more than ever convinced of the the spiritual value to ourselves of spreading the Dharma and communicating the Dharma to those who need it. Um, I mentioned also that you know, people sometimes come and tell me how they came in contact with the FWBO and the Dharma and there have been several people who've told me um, that quite literally if they had not met the Dharma, if they'd not met the FWBO, they very likely would have committed suicide. So this sort of thought, this sort of realization should really inspire us to communicate the Dharma in whatever way we can and as widely as, as possible. We don't have to go to India to do it. We can do it right here in our own country, whether it's Britain or Germany or France or wherever it may be. Hmm? There, are, there are people who are ready for the Dharma and who need the Dharma and it's part of our duty, part of our responsibility to do our best to make it available to them. <laughs>